the uh, workers' representative next to me will give you some more information. The floor is now to you, and we look forward to listen to your case for three minutes. Oui, merci, Madame la Présidente. Thank you very much for giving me the floor. But being here today, it's an opportunity for me to give a voice to people who can't be seen, people who do exist but do not have a voice. Now, as you know, for many years, the OECB has, be, has been giving the right of uh, trade union rights. In Italy, this is increasing. It's the second biggest produ producer of olive oil, wine, apples, uh, the 14th biggest producer of wheat with a turnover which is 3.2 billion euros. Uh, in Italy, uh, we have 8% of this market. Now we need to also add the value of the uh, food industry, there is 27 billion euros of profits. According to data from the Court of Auditors in Italy, between 2014 and 2020, the CAP fund was uh, over $45 billion. With an average of, with this average, these end up in the uh, agricultural sectors. The first observation is that those who are working do not benefit from all of this. In Italy today, the exploitation of farming workers across the south of the country the uh, working conditions are governed by national uh, working contracts. The um, contracts give uh, require a con well, the requ a contracts are required in order to be able to have compensation and social security and uh, health uh, insurance and maternal leave uh, and also um, um, family allowance. Between the, there are over four hundred thousand farming workers who are exposed to risk. More than 132,000 live in a situation of social vulnerability. More than 30% work um, of fewer than five days a year. So you can see what the problem is. Many of these are foreign workers, migrants. Th they are they're a low-cost resource. They often live far from cities without access to water and electricity. And you can see the photographs in front of you. We uh, often people live in these conditions in the European Union. If you look at that photograph, you will see the situation other people are living and they are not considered like human beings. Now what we want, we want the European Union to be able to act on the uh, CAP funding because these uh, firms receiving funding do not take account of the workers and do not take account of the workers' rights. Now, food is part of our identity. It's something that we can't do without. This, we cannot have people being reduced to slaves. We need to put people at the centre of our decisions and we need to combat inequality. Food cannot discriminate. It must 
be, must reach people and population. Your case is very clear, and I, I can see that you have also very much support in the room, so don't, don't doubt that.